In the outskirts of Oregon, Bill stops his car and changes his clothes to burn them while remembering all the violence he just went through this started two days ago. Bill is a 23-year-old guy living with his hardworking parents. He's in a constant state of anger and frustration caused by his obsessive consumption of depressive news about the state of the world and videos from edgy influencers to burn through this frustration Bill punches a bag, lifts weights, or plays darts in his room when he's in for one of his parents, Bill, pretends to be a chill dude one morning. Things get difficult when Bill's parents inform it's about time for him to move out of the house. Bill snaps as he spills the juice, reminding his parents that the deal consisted of him living with them until he had enough saved money for his post education because he wants to do this on his own. His father points out some of that money could go to rent, and Bill accuses him of guilt. Tripping an argument ensues, but the parents need to let have for work, so they tell Bill that they'll help him out for a few years but they still want to discuss the matter properly over dinner later afterward. Bill drives downtown and goes to a coffee shop where he orders a double espresso macchiato with extra foam. The barista finishes the order order quickly, but Bill is disappointed by what he sees claiming it isn't a macchiato because it doesn't have foam and argument ensues, and Bill returns the coffee while asking for his money back, but the barista tells Hinks he's an idiot and refuses to return the money Bill storms off, only to return a second later and take some stuff from the counter before leaving again so the barista uses the chance to throw a roll at his head. Moments later, Bill is at work in a garage fixing a van. Suddenly his boss shows up and points out his lunchtime is over, so he should be working on cars instead of wasting time on the van Bill, asks him to treat his best worker better, and asks for a raise, but his boss tells him off Bill has no choice but to work with the cars. But first, he leaves a mysterious bag inside the van. After work, Bill meets his only friend, Evan, a rebel influencer who makes videos about opposing social norms and complaining about the system, even gives Bill two packages and asks him to stop sending stuff to his house because his father doesn't like it. He also wants to know what's in the packages, but Bill just says it's a surprise. Then Bill decides they're grabbing a bite at the chicken dan, although Evan dead doesn't approve of the company because he believes in animal rights and orders a salad once they have their food the boys eat while discussing their upcoming paintball game and are interrupted when the employee comes by to pick up the tray she ends up accidentally spilling their meals on them and at first the guys laugh but while she cleans they demand an apology and their money back the employee says she'll redo their orders but she can't return the money causing bill to ask for the manager until l evan calms him down after their new order arrives they eat while watching people on the street, which inspires a rant from Evan about overpopulation, the destruction of natural resources, contamination, and people's obsession with money. Bill responds that Evan's too pessimistic and that he's all talk. But no action later. When Bill returns home, his parents are waiting for him to have a serious talk. They're a bit angry because Bill hasn't called and missed dinner, so he apologizes and promises they'll have the talk in the morning because he'll have exciting news then. Afterward, Bill goes to his room, where he reads books and magazines related to the world's problems, while hearing the news on the radio, which also talks about violence. Bill keeps picturing all those crimes in his head, and eventually abandons reading to open his packages. Instead, it turns out he's ordered a full bulletproof armor, and he starts putting it together while listening to Evan's latest video, during which he talks about the world needing people who actually stand up and believe in action. Bill makes fun of him, calling him precious. After finishing working on the armor and some wires, Bill also prints a bunch of fake money next he films a video of his own, still making fun of Evan for thinking people are equal and not doing anything the next morning. Bill works out harder than ever before joining his parents for breakfast. Bill suddenly informs them that today he's going to be proactive. He took the day off from work, so he could stay home and fill out college applications, hoping to study mechanical engineering. The parents are shocked to hear this, but also very proud and show great support for their son's decision. Afterward, Bill gathers his things as glimpses of his video are shown during which he says that unlike Evan, he's going to take action. His things include not only the armor, but also lots of weapons that Bill puts together with ease. When he's done, he looks like a SW a T team agent, and he can't help admiring him. Melf in the mirror while his mind keeps running through all the horrible news and Evan's speech, it's also revealed that his video shows Bill saying balance is created by survival of the fittest, so he'll kill every person that is using recourses, but their existence isn't beneficial for society like cancer patients. Then Bill leaves in his car, but he stops in the middle of the road to change into a different vehicle that doesn't have a license plate. While he drives, Bill keeps on remembering everything. Ong, um, Eva, his parents, and the news said to him, which keeps him motivated, eventually, he makes it to the middle of the town where he can see the van he had been working on, parked nearby, using a wireless device. He starts and drives the van, almost hitting people in other cars. In the process, he guides them. Van toward the police station and makes it crash into the building, destroying the reception and hurting a few officers, the cops that are still standing, check the back of the van and are shocked to find. 
A bomb that Bill immediately detonates causing the whole station to explode this will keep the cops busy for a while and Bill can continue with his plan next Bill stops the car on a busy avenue and gets out to shoot at a driver causing them to crash then he starts shooting at random people on the bed. Street, which causes major chaos as everyone screams and runs away car and shop alarms begin ringing all over the place as Bill continues to kill people and eventually two cops or I drive to stop him how. Ever their bullets can't do anything to the armor, and Bill kills them too afterward. He returns to the main avenue to keep on shooting people without mercy, only stopping if he needs to reload. He even asks a woman if she's scared before killing her too. The massacre continues for several minutes, and by then, Bill has started to enter stores too. After killing everyone at a diner, he goes to the cafe with the barista that told him off and asks for the same order the barista doesn't recognize him and pre art Eperez the order, but Bill gets furious because it's lacking foam again. He gives the barista the chance to run as he starts counting, and when he reaches five, he kills the barista outside next Bill, enters a beauty salon, and shoots in the air as a warning before cornering all the employees and clients. Against the wall, then he takes off his helmet and gets some water explaining the armor is very hot. He also takes a seat to rest and begins making fun of the victims for sounding so scared some of the Women beg for mercy and mention their families, so Bill says he feels nauseous and leaves the shop without killing anyone. However, he returns two seconds later to corner the people in the salon again and shoot them all at the same time because they saw his face. Bill's next stop is the bingo where a bunch of elderly people are too busy playing to pay attention to him. He decides to get some food, and this clerk does notice. He's crazy, so he doesn't charge him for it. Bill sits at a table among the old people. Eepole and takes a bite of his sandwich, but he hates the taste of it feeling his anger boiling Bill approaches the caller and steals the latest number as he calls it for everyone, but nobody reacts except for the caller who asks him politely to give the number back Bill realizes that these people don't need his help because they're pretty much dead already and leaves afterward Bill drives to the local bank while listening to the radio which is already covering all his crimes once he makes it to them. Banky parks horribly and immediately opens fire on the upcoming guard before going inside while he makes everyone back away from the alarms. Suddenly an employee jumps on him from behind and makes him fall but Bill quickly overpowers him and kills him with a knife people start to panic. So Bill shoots a bunch of them before asking the manager to open the safe while the manager searches for the key Bill makes an employee empty the register in a bag next to the manager pretends he doesn't know the safe. Fee's password, so Bill starts talking to him by alternating between understanding and insults until the guy finally gets it open once all the money is in the bag. Bill rushes back to his car, puts the bag with the real money in the trunk, and takes out the bag with the fake bills he printed. Then he makes a show out of setting the money on fire while yelling that money is useless after Bill leaves in his car. The bank manager comes out and sees the burned money, so he calls the sheriff. Meanwhile, Bill C. Continues to drive while listening to the reporters talk about all his crimes. Using the radio, he catches the police's frequency and learns they're searching for him. These cops, while coming into town through Crossroads Aid, at that moment, Bill gets a phone call from his mother, so he quickly lies and says he hasn't left the house while pretending not to know about the incidents in town. Moments later, Bill stops at the chicken den and kills the employee that spilled their meals yesterday at that moment, Eva. N calls him and scolds him for being late, since they're supposed to be playing paintball in the woods. Now Bill says he's running errands, and that he'll be there soon on his way to the forest. Bill's tops a crossroad and plants a huge bomb behind the welcome sign, before going back to his car to wait. Evan calls him again, because he's tired of waiting, but Bill convinces him to wait for him for ten more minutes, even saying he'll kill him if he doesn't. When the cops finally show up in two vehicles, Bill detonates the bomb and the explosion hits one of the cars, making it flip the car with the sheriff, manages to avoid the explosion, and when Bill sees them coming, he immediately takes off in his car, triggering a chase on the road. They also exchange a few shots, but miss them all, so the sheriff makes. The driver bump Bill's car, but he bumps them back, and that's enough for him to speed up leaving.